install wooden blocks to hold in the 1204F left and right. Um, blocking the, the top holes here, you can see there's uh, 16 holes here. You have to block the top holes so you can drill the bottom holes while giving it a good set because uh, this, the F doesn't sit flush up against this so you have to clamp it in and then uh, drill those top holes, drill the bottom holes and then um, once you get the bottom holes drilled you click O and then remove the wood blocks and drill the top holes and you do that on both sides. <clears throat> All right, so just a quick recap. So what we did here was we riveted on um, uh, this 1204D, which is this big plate in the front here, uh, using cherry rivets on the 1204 uh, left and right, which is uh, these right here. Um, we have fluff, flush rivets right here and here, and then the rest of them are 470. Uh, regular rivets and uh, more flush rivets right here as well. So as you can see I have it all marked out Where everything needed to be riveted and then Called out for the size of rivets of uh, four nine Which are the flush ones here and then um, All the top ones were four dash eights four seventies four dash eights um, Give you a look at what the finished Looks like Yep, so that's, uh, the, and then we had the 100 degree countersink, uh, these holes here, one, two, and then on the other side, three, four. And that's it, that completes uh, the first section of the fuselage. Uh, we'll move on to the next section, which will involve getting the bottom skin put on and all the, uh, the ribs. So, do a little bit of cleaning up here, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so that was a royal pain in the butt. What we just did was rivet on the nut plates. Well, first we dimpled all of the number 30, number 40 holes along the uh, access panel holes and uh, the edge right here. Um, and then we riveted the nut plates on to the access panel holes on the left um, and the right. These will be the floorboard uh, baggage compart for the baggage compartment. Um, we also, in the beginning, put on these strips, uh, which the fuel tank will sit on to prevent the fuel tank from rubbing on the aluminum and uh, damaging the uh, floorboard or the fuel tank. So now we're going to attach these and rivet these onto the, uh, the main spar here, the center spar, and uh, go from there.